Welcome to Dr. Chan's Minor Ailment Forum and today I would like to talk about PSA and prostate cancer. Uh, the reason that I chose this topic is because I've realised that quite a lot of patients coming in asking for a PSA blood test because they said, oh my friends had one so uh, I want to have one too. And I said, yeah, absolutely fine, you can have it but you know, it's good to know why you're doing it and what it actually means with the result coming out. Uh, so let's give you some background about prostate cancer first or the prostate gland itself. Uh, only guys have prostate glands, okay, so that's a good news for the ladies. Um, but um, prostate cancer is rather common in the world uh, by record. Uh, as far as we know nowadays, about 40,000 men in the UK are diagnosed with prostate cancer. And there's around one in nine chance in men in the lifetime would uh, might or might get prostate cancer. So uh, let's talk about the prostate gland itself. So it just lies beneath the, um, the bladder and the function is to produce a fluid to protect and enriches the sperm and um, generally speaking for guys over 50 years and above they tend to get uh, enlarged prostate and by the age of 70 um, studies show that around 8 to 10, uh, 8 sorry, 8 out of 10 guys will have enlarged prostate. Well on its own it doesn't actually mean anything because some people uh, would have really enlarged prostate but they don't have any symptoms at all whereas some that are slightly enlarged and they would get a lot of symptoms like for example uh, nocturia that's mean that you need to get up at night to pass urine all the time or you feel like you need to go to the toilet all the time or when you go the flow is not very good sometimes it's a little bit of dribbling as well so these are the kind of symptoms that kind of prompt most guys to come and see gp and say well i think something is going on um so if a guy come in with that kind of symptoms, uh, I would generally say, you know, of a PSA blood test. Now, uh, that's a misnomer out there that people think a PSA blood test is to tell whether you've got prostate cancer or not. Not necessarily true. Okay, this is a, te a test to indicate the likelihood of one's getting a prostate cancer. So let's just say if you go and do the blood test and is within a normal margin, then and, and the person has got no symptoms, I would have said, yeah, that's okay, a likelihood of you getting prostate cancer is rather low, but I always advise them to come and see us if in due course the symptoms change and whatnot. Uh, whereas um, PSA sometimes can be raised for so many different reasons. For example, um, if you've been ejaculating uh, you know, recently, then the number will be up. Uh, if, the pe if the person uh, has been exercised in the, have been doing exercises but like really strenuous exercise for the four, past 48 hours for example riding a bike then the PSA would go up as well and also uh, active urine infection can put this number up as well as um, um, if you had a biopsy at the prostate or had a digital examination around the prostate and that can also make the number go up as well so if you know if a, a person want to have a PSA blood test I always advise them, yes, okay to have the test, but make sure that, you know, um, he doesn't do anything that I listed above uh, before the blood test. And also after the blood test, you need to come back for, um, for a digital examination of the prostate because PSA is only a number and you can never diagnose cancer without the evidence. Uh, so we will always advise the patient to have the prostate checked. So we can feel whether it feels smooth, is it actually enlarged, or are there any, cra any cragginess that we should worry about. So um, that's generally speaking is... So I just want to talk about um, how we interpret uh, the PSA blood test and when we do refer uh, the patient on. So a PSA, uh, there's no fixed normal result. So you can say that, oh, this number is definitely normal or uh, any number higher is abnormal. So it all depends on uh, the age group of the person. So they all come with an age range. Um, so let's just say if the result is completely normal and on examination or uh, on the digital examination, uh, the prostate feels fine as well, then I would have said to you, yeah, uh, it's very unlikely you've got prostate cancer, but down the line, if you have any other symptoms, please come back and we might recheck the, the blood test again or do another examination. So if it's only slightly raised and I examine the prostate and it feels enlarged, but you know, there's no cragginess or anything serious, then it might just 
it just be a cause of you know uh, just, sorry just be a case of enlarged prostate which I said it early on is quite common and if you do have symptoms we might try some medication to to treat the problem and we'll keep an eye on the patient on a regular basis and if things escalate or even on medication the patient's not improving on the symptoms then we'll definitely refer to urology and needless to say if the PSA is really out of range then we'll refer the patient urgently to urology for review. So the bottom line um, that you need to take home today is um, if you do have any urinary symptoms that you worry about and it's new uh, you have to come and see your own GP and um, it's no harm for you to bring in a urine sample when you come and see them as well so that we can rule out that you don't have a urine infection hence it won't affect the PSA blood test when we do it down the line just to save you save your time really and um, bear in mind that a blood test does not exclude uh, cancer um, you know studies show that 15 out of 100 people that have PSA blood tests can be missed for um, having cancer when they told you that it's normal but they still ended up having cancer. So um, bottom line is you do have to have a, a digital examination of the prostate uh, together to get a clinical picture to see whether uh, you need to be referred or not. So hopefully you find this um, information useful for you and please remember if you've got any problem go and see your own GPs. Okay, take care.